Hey everyone, it's Game Fruit Papa. Welcome back to another episode of Building Toronto. Today we are going to be looking at uh, what I've done over the past week and uh, sort of just going over that and some of the history of it. Uh, so we're going to start with, or we're going to get to that, but before we do, I just want to do a, uh, a little sort of short couple of update little things. We have our first citizen in the city, a duck in a suit, or a chicken in a suit, and he's walking around doing some things, having a good time. Hopefully, we're going to have more people. Um, this was kind of just a test. I'm just We want to make sure that we don't have too many people all at once. And then the server lags, and then all sorts of problems happen. Uh, so that's one thing. Secondly, I've started adding cars to the uh, the city. They're all sort of scattered around. There's this one car design right now. Um, it's not the greatest, but I had to do, like, it was the best I could really do because the lanes are too wide, so it's kind of hard to make a good vehicle that's too wide. So this is kind of like an SUV type thing, simply because it's taller than Steve, and Steve is... Uh, 1.7 meters I think so he's at like 510 and most cars are around six feet so this is probably an SUV or something of that nature but we have a few of them kind of tucked around the city as you can see here I just kind of placed them at a, an amount I thought was reasonable so there's not too many and then we're gonna have variations of cars and stuff and as we do that the city will kind of fill in and so uh, we still have to make a trolley or a streetcar uh, but that can be done soon as well but that's really any, everything before we get into the build that I've done recently um and that's this as uh I, as i said in the last video i want to sort of alternate between going north south east west and so because of that last video we went east in the city today we went south and so uh we finished the go station bus terminal and so this was a pretty interesting build obviously i had to make these buses which turned out i mean again i did the best i could with making a two block wide bus this thing kind of looks like in the words of Cole, one of our moderators, kind of looks like a squished can of pickles, but I mean, I did the best I could with it. I also had to rework both of the bridges to make them better because they weren't really to scale with what was the uh, well, what it was supposed to be like. So I had to do that, but uh, you can see the buses. I mean, they look okay. The color scheme is right, which is kind of what matters. So, I mean, let me know what you think of those. They're not the best. I acknowledge that, but they're the best I could do. But uh, so we added the buses, which was good. And then we added sort of the platform, which stretches all the way along. And so the uh, the GO Station bus terminal is part of the greater Union Station uh, in, in downtown Toronto. Obviously, we haven't worked on that yet. The bus terminal is the easternmost most part of the station. It goes from uh, south of front to the railway tracks, which are just right behind this concrete wall here, this wall here, after that's the railway tracks. And then the west side is Bay, and the east side is Young. And so that's the entire expansion of that. And then west of... Uh, Young Street is, is Union Station, uh, the train part. And so the bus terminal was originally up uh, up at the terminal with the other kind of buses that travel out, out through Ontario. So the private companies like Greyhound, as well as Ontario Northland, it was this called the Toronto Bus Terminal, which is located up at uh, Bay and Dundas. So we might get there eventually. I mean, we got a, a lot of streets to go, if I'm being honest. But um, they moved it down here to be closer to... Uh, the train station to be, make it more convenient for people traveling on Go Transit, as well as to alleviate traffic caused by all the buses kind of getting backlogged to get into the bus terminal. And so what they did is they made it uh, the bus turn off right off the road just for Go buses. So this street here is just for Go buses, um, and then this street here is a parking lot for the Toronto Dominion Building. And so the Go buses turn in here. It's a one way. The buses kind of just go in here. There is seven bus bays, so there's seven different platforms here for each different bus route. And the buses just go out the other way and they turn south. And every single bus route that they have, the bus goes south and goes to the Gardner Expressway. And so they, they planned it pretty well uh, because the buses just turn right here, travel south on, on Young, and then go to the highway. And so uh, that's why all, you won't see any buses in the city, uh, at least go buses that are north of this area. Um, I'm going to try and keep that to the theme of, of how it actually works in Toronto. And I know a little bit about this because I am kind of interested in go transit. It's um, something that I, I've always had an interest in is public transit and how it works and all that kind of stuff. Um, the bus bay was opened in 2003, and again, it was it was part of the Go, Tra Go Transit expansion. For those of you who don't know, I guess I should explain this. Uh, for those of you who aren't from Ontario, Go Transit stands for Government of Ontario Transit. Uh, that's, they just use the acronym of Go because it sounds good. It makes it makes sense. And so, uh, Go Transit operates uh, two things: they operate buses and they operate uh, trains, and they operate under the greater sort of umbrella organization of Metrolinx. And so, Metrolinx is the government organization that operates all public transit in the province and provides funding for all public transit within the province. So that goes to Go Transit, as well as uh, if, if the government is going to fund municipalities and their local transit systems, most of the time this is done through Metrolinx. 
Uh, additionally, there are a couple other small transit systems that are run by Metrolinx, uh, the Union Pearson Express, which is a train station that or a train that goes from Union Station to the airport and little things like that. But uh, for for detail that you guys need to know, basically, uh, Go Transit is is just the the transit operator that operates this bus terminal and operates the regional trains out of the train station, which will be building, I guess it would be in uh, three episodes or four episodes if I decide to go that way. Um, I don't really know though, because they have been doing a big renovation on this bus terminal as well as the uh, the train station. What's kind of interesting about this bus terminal is they just did a renovation on it and they're already planning another one. And so there will be another renovation on this bus terminal. It actually will be moved to a new location in 2020. So in, in three years, they're gonna start moving it because Go Transit got double decker buses and uh, I tried to build these buses to scale to sort of prove this point, but the double decker buses actually don't fit in the current bus terminal. And so what they're doing is they're building a new bus terminal. And so I guess in three years, when the new bus terminal is built, we're going to have to do whatever they do to this land or redo it, uh, which could be interesting. That is something that I haven't had to worry about yet in this city because I've built like iconic buildings that are going to be here forever. But with this building, this bus terminal, there's a good chance that in two or three years, this thing's going to be gone. And so... I don't really know what's gonna what's gonna happen with it, so it could be interesting. But uh, that's pretty much all the the really nitty gritty details, I guess. Oh, the one other thing is that uh, something I found pretty interesting is is on average the this bus terminal portion only the bus terminals um, get seven thousand passengers a week, and so that's something that's pretty pretty. I think it's a pretty substantial number. Obviously, it's not as much as the trains. I think the trains get close to a hundred thousand per day. Uh, I think they transport a lot more a lot more people. I believe that might be, I think that's the trains. If it's not the trains, then it's the TTC subway system. But one of the two, either the subway or the trains get over 100,000 people a day. And so there is, obviously it's not very high. It's not as high of a volume simply because buses are not as, as convenient, not as large as trains. They don't transport as many people. It's, it's, they get stuck in traffic just like cars. Obviously buses are not the ideal form of public transportation, uh, but they are something that's, that's useful for for traveling in places that trains aren't trains can't go and so uh I, that's really really it with this um I, I think that next week i'll show you what we're going to be building next week actually since i might as well uh and i'll also talk about this if you are not on the anitsi craft server as a player uh because this is an important important distinction i do not want anitsi craft players uh coming on as this role if they're playing on the server uh once in a while i might have players help me do stuff but I don't want the players to be able to come here at this point. That's my change in the future. But right now I don't. So if you're not in an Craft server player, you do not play the townie server part, and you want to help in Toronto, you want to help build. If you're seeing this on the Planet Minecraft page or something, and you want to help build, please contact me on Discord. Especially if you want to do the interior stuff, because every single building in the city right now, except for this one, is empty. And I don't want it like that. But I just don't. I'm not very good at interior builds. And so if you are an interior builder, you want to contribute to this bar project, as we bring in more people, if we bring on more people, we can go a lot faster and we can get a lot more done. So I think that it'd be really great if we could add a few more people to the project. So if you are interested and uh, you want to join in on this project, feel free to contact me on Discord. My, uh, what is my Discord number? It is 1752 and my name is just Game Fruit Pulp. So if you want to add me on Discord and, and become part of this project, let me know. And I can, uh, we can see if we can figure something out. But aside from that, the next place we're going to be building is here. And nothing too fancy, it's just a building. Uh, so we'll be building <laughs> building that building next week uh, up here. We might actually do that one, because it's not too big of a building, we might actually do a speed build of that one, because it's a pretty basic thing. I think that would fit a speed build quite well, and we haven't done one of those for a while. So we'll probably do one of those. This building is all burnt down still because of the great fire. Uh, when I get smited, by mundane glue my god the god from the survival portion of the server originally fire spread was on in this world and so it struck me struck me with lightning as i was on this building afk and then burnt the whole building down but anyways that's that um so that's gonna be everything in this video if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed um be sure to leave a like and a favorite and hit that subscribe button it, sorry if you're a new subscriber if you're a new viewer and you enjoyed just hit the subscribe button that's all i ask you don't even need to like the video if you don't want to just hit the subscribe button so you can see more content in the future. And uh, if you're a returning viewer, because you can't hit that subscribe button, uh, I ask you to leave a like. And hopefully that will help bring some more people to the channel. We can grow our community a little bit more. If you do want to check out Toronto for yourself, uh, you can do so on the Craft server. IP will be in the description down below. 
And um, that's that's it, really. Hope you guys enjoyed. You should catch a Minecraft video on Monday. My name is Game Free Pulp. Catch you guys all later. Hope you have a good weekend.